Uh, Fox Business, Fox Business Channel. Uh, this is unquestionably the most uneducated rant on student loans I've ever heard. It's Fox Business anchor Stuart Varney who's given us much comedic material over the years. Let's listen. The crisis has not been averted. Here's what's happened. We have just rolled back the recent spike in student loan rates. For students going to college this fall, taking out a new loan over the next couple of weeks, they will pay an interest rate of 3.85%, only slightly higher than what was being paid last year. And caps have been imposed so that in the future, the rate will never go above 8.25% for undergrads, over 9% for graduate students, and if it's the parents that have taken out the loan, just over 10, 10.5%. Okay, that's all the good news. We've rolled back the recent spike. But to answer your question, we have not solved the underlying problem, which is we're subsidizing all of these loans at great cost to the taxpayer. We have not solved the problem of the very high cost and rising cost of college. And we haven't solved the problem of highly indebted students leaving college with a load of debt around their neck and no good paying job to go to. So we've not solved the other underlying problem. We've basically punted. We've given students a low loan rate for the foreseeable future, but we've not solved the problem. So I know Stuart Varney just said the underlying problem in the student loan debt crisis is, quote, we're subsidizing all these loans at great cost to the taxpayer. That was the first thing that he mentioned. Okay, are you ready for the earth-shattering fact? The, it's a debate ender. Like, after you say this, that's it. Like, you're done, Stuart Varney is dismissed. Uh, not only is Varney 110% incorrect that the taxpayer isn't subsidizing uh, the students, the exact opposite is true. So what I mean by that is that the government just made $51 billion off of the students. That's more profit than ExxonMobil made last year. $51 billion. So Varney's argument is essentially, oh, see, the problem in the student loan debt crisis is that uh, these moochers, uh, the students, are being subsidized by the taxpayers. But if anything, the real problem is that the students are subsidizing the moocher government we have, which of course is making them pay an interest rate which they shouldn't have to pay. Man, that's it. Like, you lose all your credibility. You're not allowed to talk about economic issues after that. You got the issue exactly incorrect. You couldn't be more wrong. And by the way, uh, to increase my vulnerability uh, on this issue, let me just say for the record, I think the government should subsidize uh, college. I think college should be universal. It should be funded at the federal level, just like uh, the public education system for high school and elementary school is funded at uh, the state level and the local level. All the money that we send for war overseas, and by the way, Stuart Varney never asks to show a profit on that, does he? Right? He never says, oh, moochers, because the military is a big moocher. We spent trillions of dollars. Oh, no. no, he doesn't care about the military turning a profit. But all that money we sent for war, we should divert it immediately to pay for everybody's college. So not only should it be, oh, hey, let the students borrow at 0% interest. Not only should it be, hey, like Elizabeth Warren proposed, only let them have a 0.75% interest rate. Not only should it be uh, like the deal they reached, or it looks like they reach of the interest rate just over 3.5%. No, no, it should be go right ahead to college. And then when you get out, you're, you're good. You don't, we're fair and square. Because we're civilized human beings that understand certain functions are solely for government, one of them being education. Uh, but look, man, uh, bottom line, Stuart Varney doesn't know anything. He knows absolutely nothing about business, about government. And if you take him seriously, I feel very bad for you.